Welcome back. At least 17 people died and more than 800 were wounded in clashes that broke out in Colombia during five days of protests against a proposed government tax reform, according to authorities. The Ombudsman's Office said 16 civilians and one police officer died in violence during the protests that began throughout the country on April 28, while 846 people, including 306 civilians, were injured. Authorities have detained 431 people while the government deployed the military in the worst affected cities. Some NGOs accused the police of firing at civilians. Faced with the unrest, the government of President Ivan Duque ordered the proposal be withdrawn from Congress where it was being debated. Despite that, dozens of people were still out on Monday in the capital, Bogota, protesting and blocking roads. The tax reform had been heavily criticized for punishing the middle classes at a time of economic crisis brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. The government introduced the bill on April 15 as a means of financing public spending. The aim was to generate $6.3 billion between 2022 and 2031 to reignite the fourth largest economy in Latin America. Hit by coronavirus restrictions, Colombia's economy shrank by 6.8% in 2020, its worst performance in half a century. While 42.5% of the 50 million people, 50 million population now live in poverty.